thank you so much for your CCRN review. I love you so much. You made every, these complex things that I've been studying for 15 years come to like, wow, come to life. And uh, I really love the illustrations you use, the Miss American pageant to illustrate the, the um, glomerular filtration rate and uh, the left and right brain. And right now my right brain is saying, I love Maureen because you made things so much easier. Thank you so much. I'm very inspired to take my CCRN and I'm really uh, convinced that I'm gonna pass because you really equipped us well. And uh, thank you and take care. Bye-bye. Already number one, uh, this is your, uh, your fight against exogenous proteins, which we call antigens. What is life? Life is billions and billions of protein-protein reactions going on inside your cells. What if you let foreign proteins build up? They change life. So you've got to identify and eliminate oncogenes. Number two, what turns them on? Number three, why didn't the immune system recognize it? Because elective break <laughs> is when one of your cells becomes a cancer cell, it expresses a different antigen, a different protein. So that all of a sudden the immune system goes one, two, three, four, ooh, that's not Maureen, recognizes it as something abnormal and destroys it. So um, we're always fighting off these cancerous. We're only supposed to live 120 days. These things keep me up nights. How does a phagocyte know how old a red cell is? Do they get gray hair and little whiskers? Uh, no. Uh, what happens is the older cells get, they express minutes of antigens so that the immune cells know how old they are. They think this is really part of the, the way we age, we destroy tissue because it's senescent. There's a lot of excitement going on, research going on. And you find that 10, 20% of us have little tumors here and there, but 10, 20% of us don't crop up with tumors, right? So that turns out that fighting off cancer is a normal part of modern living. Did you know if you counted your cells and then counted your bugs before you carry around, you have more flora than bugs? They outnumber you. They're tiny. You're upside down because we start from the bottom. We have ubiquitous amounts of that circulating protein fibrinogen. And all I need to do is take fibrinogen and make it into fibrin. Now, fibrinogen is a short protein strand that has little plugs on each end so they can't make strings. If I can get the plugs to fall off, then they do make strands, fibrin, and that will cause a mesh that uh, will help with coagulation. So uh, all I need to make the plugs fall off is thrombin. And the step before thrombin is prothrombin. So once you make prothrombin, it becomes thrombin. The plugs fall off the fibrinogen and you have fibrin. So that's the final common pathway, but you can get there by using factors found primarily inside the bloodstream, we call that one the intrinsic path, or factors found primarily outside the bloodstream and into tissues, that's the extrinsic path outside the bloodstream. Don't worry about which factors are uh, key to either one, they're just two paths to get there. They're much more intertwined uh, than we realized before, there, there's a lot of interaction. But you can still think of them this way. <laughs>